So, okay, let's talk about this one. You ready for this one? I don't even know. Okay, what I know what you did. Next? No, I'm yes. just kidding. It's not about that. <laughs> uh, Andrew Tate, I want to talk to you about. Yes. Uh, yeah, so. Is he banned? They banned him on everything? He's yeah. banned on everything. Seems I know you didn't little... love that. I love it. I, well, yes, I know that you love it, <laughs> but I, I just worry about, you know, number one, is he that crazy that you would ban him? Yes. Yes. Actually, I have clips because I wanted to persuade you. I, okay. You don't need to agree with me. For sure. In my opinion. I'm always reluctant to ban anyone. Right. Because, yeah. And I think, honestly, I've got to say, yeah. because a lot of people go, oh, well, they're going to ban him. They're going to start banning everybody. Right. Uh, there could, but, but the people who have been truly deplatformed yeah. yeah. kind of deserved it. I don't know much about. I know he says a lot of wild stuff. I haven't heard anything where I'd go, he should be banished. Yeah, okay, well, here, let's see. I mean, you've, let's see. Um, I know you've seen a lot of these ones, because I saw you talking about it in your clip. Oh, this video's not available. Yeah, a lot of these are just too insane to put on. What is he saying that is... There's a video of him beating, but... Um, he's saying stuff like yeah. that women are the property of their boyfriend or husband whatever it is he's saying is okay which i disagree with mm -hmm. clearly um that being said is when he is saying that have are we going to ban every religious person on youtube that says something that's very similar to that right no, no. i think ultimately right. what he advocates yeah. is for violence against women yes okay so i've seen no he's been he's yeah, pro like no keeping your woman in yeah. check Okay. He has videos of him saying, like, if I catch my woman cheating, I think you saw that. Well, he referenced it. Well, I think there's one of the things you where... You said, oh, he's joking. He's not, though. Well, he said if she came at me with a machete. I think the full context of that, because people were correcting me online. Let me online, pull this up. They were oh, new link. Full, okay, here. The full context was... She was saying if, she, here. if she grabbed a machete, he'd grab a machete or something like that. Here, let's watch. Dude once said to me, you yeah, but it was next to you think so? Right. Yeah. Well, just don't show it. I'll just show it to Tim. Yeah. You guys can hear the audio. He has a big ass fucking knife. Ed, what if you like upset a girl and she catches you cheating and gets a machete? There's no female alive, even with a machete, that would stand a chance against a immense power I possess. Have you ever seen a woman try and do anything competently? Like, imagine a girl pick this up. Um, if I pick this up, you ain't fucking with me. But on my left hand, I'd still like jab, I'd fucking swing low, take your fucking knee out. You ain't gonna see it a coming. Lot. I mean, a woman it, it feels more yeah. though to me, like a guy who's being a troll, okay, than so a that guy was, who's saying kill this a woman was the with the debate, okay. okay. But, if, here, here. and again, I'm not saying he should be like a senator. Right, right. Go ahead, Eva. If you take into yeah. context also that he's done sex trafficking, does it change your opinion? Well, listen, 100% if he's doing sex trafficking, mm -hmm. well, he then is. that's... He a, is. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, if that... That needs to be handled by authorities. I mean, it that's is. beyond the scope of YouTube. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, of course. And, and yeah, the, I mean, that's the not, embassy got it's reported. Not, he, he, no, so what do you think? I'm going to be like, well, that's not a big no, deal. No, but like, yeah. even if you think that maybe yeah. that video was just trolling, yeah. like, knowing the full scope of who the guy <laughs> if, is kind of puts it in. If he's doing that, here's right? my yeah. take, right? It's 100 percent not... It's a... It, he needs that, That's a legal be, issue. It's not a sensitive oh, issue. Oh, yeah. So here's my take. Yeah. I think... In the totality of his work and the influence he's having, yeah. he is recruiting men and encouraging violence and control of women. Now, here's where I see it. Right. I think a lot of people see it differently. Yeah. So we're talking about censorship. We're talking about freedom of speech. Yeah. Everybody believes in, in censorship. It's just a matter of where you draw sure. the line. Sure. Do you think, for example, ISIS should be able to have a TikTok channel? What are they doing? Is it they're just fun? talking about is cool. If they're dancing, then yes. They're radicalizing people. They're talking about like infidels, and we need to stone infidels. Stone problem, and right? You if need I'm, to come to you. You know, if you don't join us, sure. you're going to go to hell. Uh, but you might have to delete a lot more channels than ISIS if you are going to apply a very broad definition. But that doesn't happen. Well, let's yeah. just. Let's but I mean, here's the thing: there's a lot of clerics, Islamic clerics, that are in the UK mm -hmm. that say very similar things to that. Right? Are they on TikTok? 
Probably. I mean, I, you could easily well, pull up 10 incredibly well, let, offensive. Let, let, yeah. let me just... Uh, yeah, I don't think they should be allowed to do that Yeah, because it's hate speech, right? Well, it depends on what they're saying. I think it's the, the hate speech thing is very blurry, right? Yeah. Because, like, if you criticize certain uh, people in, you know, uh, a war, for example, right? You, there's, the, you know, for example, they allowed, in the social media companies allowed people to say things about Russian people. Not only Putin, they were able to say hateful things about Russian people during the onset of the Russia-Ukraine war. They were, they were kind of allowing some more of that stuff, right? So I think it's really that these... Wait, these, I'm you're saying you couldn't support Russia? No, you could say anything you wanted to yeah. about Russia. You could say, yeah. kill all Russia. You could say all that stuff. I think a lot of these standards are unevenly applied because it's very difficult to apply standards evenly. Wait, how is it... I'm, I'm confused about what were people being censored about in the Ukraine... No, they weren't. They weren't. For example, you're saying if there's if there's hate speech and you go, what constitutes that? Because it's a, it's, yeah. it's it's I think what constitutes yeah. that is, you know, calling for violence or or. Yeah, violence against, you know, I think harassment, for example, doxing and harassment, targeted harassment of people and doxing are very easy to identify and shouldn't be tolerated. But people saying hateful things about each other or it's more about targeting yeah. a group of people right sure so so yeah also like let's acknowledge that these are private yeah. companies it's not oh, at, they can at do that whatever point, they want it's not a free, even really oh, a free speech no issue. they can absolutely do whatever if, they want the government owned twitter it'd be a whole different conversation yes. but where i actually agree with them is that yeah. so i personally think if isis was doing like the sprite challenge on tiktok right. i wouldn't be down Fine. with that for sure <laughs> because ultimately their goal is to radicalize people yeah and, and ultimately you know yes. kill people like me right or, or and lots of other people well, everyone that's me. not that and yeah, anyone you. right yeah it's yeah. not even about me he hates yeah. everyone and then so let's take it a little bit further do you think that like um like uh, the KKK or like ultra white nationalists should be able to have uh, a TikTok or YouTube channel where they. I think probably. And the mm -hmm. reason I say that is because I think if you if you inf like we dealt with the KKK for many years by ignoring them. Right. KKK, they're they're able to march. They're able to speak. This is something the Supreme Court ru ruled on. Um, yeah, that's free speech. Yeah, for that's sure. not what we're talking. No, about. I mean, if TikTok wants to ban their channel. I don't, as a private company, they can do whatever they want. If you ask me, should people with horrible views be allowed on social media? I would say yes, because I think you need to counter those with better views. I think there's a difference between bad views yeah. and like dangerous views. Like Agreed. Hate, hate, Agreed. And, and by the way, yes, this whole, that's true. and yeah. the whole like notion of like the battle of ideas or yeah. whatever, uh, good, yeah. good ideas be bad ideas. I think we've learned that, that that that's not really happening, is it? Well, on the sure. internet, well, we it doesn't to, really happen. Well, it doesn't happen because these algorithms of these companies are designed to reward negativity, right? They're designed to reward certain things and not reward other mm -hmm. things. But I think that the thing is, when when RT gets deleted, from that's YouTube, probably why they yeah. even see it more paramount. For sure. that shit, but, yeah. but like when RT gets deleted from YouTube, and you have people like uh, Chris uh, Hedges who's an anti-war correspondent, or Abby Martin, or people like that, their entire library of work gets deleted. Um, and, you know, there are people that don't like them. There are people that, but they're not engaging in hate speech, per se. Yeah, I'm and not, I feel I like don't know anything what, about those. Uh, they're just, ones. you know, Chris Hedge is a war correspondent. So why was his channel? Well, it was just part of RT, right? So they just deleted this entire... Oh, like Russian propaganda? Well, it was or, a network. So it's what they said. Well, it's a network that's not American, right? So it's like anti, it's not an American network, per se, but you have his entire library of content that gets deleted with that. My thing is who makes these decisions? Like these are all unaccountable people that work at these companies that are making these decisions. Is there any process that could be more democratic, more transparent, where mm -hmm. that the banning is not just an edict of a small group of people? Is there a way to do it that might well, be- Well, they'll more? never, it would have to be owned by the, you know, the government for that to ever be a thing. There, there's yeah, no incentive sure. for them to, to do anything not opaquely right so i just wonder i i don't know what i, 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 I just true, wonder right? what's the big fear yeah what are you what well, are you and all, the other people so always worried? that for example people were getting kicked off twitter in the beginning of covid for saying that covid may have originated in a lab mm -hmm. now that is a a, a a belief that's been in the mainstream news I, media. but so yeah. the, the there was a difference right at the time it was like 
There was literally no evidence to support that. That's untrue. That's I, not true. I think it is there was, true. There were doctors saying that this is a manipulated virus. They're saying it's producing effects that they've never seen before. And even if there was no evidence to support it, they ended up being right. Well, some doctors were saying it was manipulated. Yeah, but, but I mean... The yeah, vast majority yeah. of experts were saying... There's no reason to believe but to delete that someone's... this was created in a lab. Now, there's... I don't the vast think, majority of experts now, reverse I don't think, themselves on a lot of stuff. I just, stuff. Want, to be, I just yeah. want to be clear. I don't think people were getting banned just for saying, I think mm -hmm. this originated in China. I don't... I, don't, I think people yeah. were getting banned yeah. for, like, outright, uh, like, hateful shit, like calling it, like, Kung Flu mm -hmm. and saying we need to fucking... There's, there's people that yeah. take it... To an, a degree that is inciting Yo, hate and violence sure. against Asian people, which yes. was a problem. So I don't think people were really getting banned. But there were the instances degree. of people that have been banned for certain things where you go, these are now accepted things or they're now mainstream beliefs. Right. But you have to draw the difference, right? Because yeah. people, like, people, you could say, right. I think this originated in China. You right. You get banned. Yeah. Is the people that during a time when Asian yeah. people were being fucking so Alex Ferentz no is a guy who just got kicked off Twitter. He actually won a court case. He just got put back on. He's a big critic of the vaccine, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he just actually won a court case. Part of my thing here is like, should we be giving the people that run tech companies complete and total authority and power over the public domain? And I think that we can all find egregious examples of people that say very offensive things. Who we go, yes, they shouldn't have a platform. That being said, we don't, I don't know that this is a state when you say like, what is everyone afraid of? I think people like me that make a living speaking or whatever. I don't think we're completely comfortable with giving private tech companies complete control over the you public. Think Twitter but be you're national. not saying anything on the level of what he's saying. No, no, no. I'm not worried about myself per se. I'm just saying I'm saying I don't know where things go. And I think that there's there's a certain acknowledgement of the fact that like small groups of people making decisions for everybody is not necessarily in the interest of everybody, right? I mean, it's throughout history. You've seen that like, if you have complete total power, that might not be good. Right. I feel like- So that's where I just look at Twitter and I go, this is a very small group of people that have complete power. That's true. Yeah, that's my that's my thing. But, I feel yeah. like that could be a solid thing to talk about, but yeah. we can talk about it not when we're talking about Andrew Tate being removed because yeah. I don't think that what you're talking about applies yeah. to this guy who is just I, he's right. saying it's, vile stuff that yes. I'm a woman yes. you're not right. it doesn't affect you so well, it does in the sense that we all live in a society I don't want no, women but what I read, does, what no I but it doesn't affect you like it does me what I I'm a woman say, yeah he hates me yeah, like you know what I mean. It's like Jews and sure. and the KKK. No, yeah, I understand that he arouses. Nazis. He says crazy things. So, so my yeah, thing yeah, is Nazis. like, what's interesting is that yeah. the amount of people I see who are like free speech, let's not ban Tate, or a right. lot of the stuff I say is I don't like Tate, but it, uh, you know I believe in not censoring people in free speech. It's all men, right? It's all and men. So if you talk, it really yeah. is. There's got to be some women. There, I'm sure well, there let's, is. let's yes. look for that yeah. one. No, I'm sure there's <laughs> yeah. no. literally it's 100% men. men from what I've I don't I've think seen. Andrew Tate has good ideas. I don't think his ideas are good for young men. What I think is there is a, 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 a whole other problem about unilaterally banning somebody, the way these platforms work together to ban somebody overnight, completely remove them. It's I not mean, overnight. I, well, it may not be overnight, That's, but it's, it's pretty not overnight. Quick the it's way over it happens, a long right? the way I'm sure it's been debated for a long I'm time. Sure, but that process maybe should be a little bit more public. So do you think Twitter should be nationalized? I don't know if Twitter should be nationalized. Because that's the only way that's going to happen. Yeah, but I, I, I will say this. I mean, he's already made it to such stardom and sure. like mainstream. For he's sure. been talked on yeah. everywhere. So it took them months to I make mean, that I think decision. it's a complex issue. It's right? not so overnight. It's not an easy issue. I don't think it's an easy fix. I don't think any, anyone saying it's easily solvable is wrong. Because that basically you're just saying whoever runs Twitter and YouTube at the current moment mm -hmm. should be God. That's a hard... No oversight that's, at all. That's yeah, a again, difficult it, argument it, to make. two different <laughs> yeah. issues, right? Like, one issue you're addressing, I think everyone agrees with. People, there's a concentration of power in these social medias. Yes. That it, that is, they have this unaccountable amount of power that needs to be a conversation around that. Yeah. But at the same time, I also think that hate groups, violent hate groups, yes. uh, should not be expected to have... Uh, free reign to I think the if fuck we they could want draw a line around violent hate groups, totally understand. And I think Tate is a violent hate group. 
I don't know. It, listen, if you what he's doing, if it's human trafficking, one hundred percent. That's there's it. no if. That's it. it. He, yeah, no, listen, I know is, nothing about that. Yeah. I think we set okay. that aside. We're yeah, just we can set that aside. Yeah. Well, he also I mean, does like his whole hustler right. university is on like a pyramid scheme. I I would never tell anyone to join hustlers university. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There are so many pyramid schemes and so many guys on YouTube with selling bullshit classes. I, I, I want to separate yeah. the yeah. pyramid scheme and the I human trafficking. Want, because I don't want to so give him any benefit of the doubt that maybe this is just a troll. He, he that's, deserves that's why I'm, I'm saying yeah. dating him. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> Does that matter to that anyone? That is interesting. I, here's the reality. He's gay and he <laughs> hates women. No. Uh, listen, I agree that a lot of what I've heard him say, some of it's trolly and funny where he's been, when he says, I don't, when he goes, if I go and have sex with a woman, but I don't love her, it's not cheating, it's exercise. He's, to me, that seems it, like you're making a yeah, joke. Yeah, you're, but he's not. But he's right. not. That's why okay. I keep bringing yeah. those things up. Because he, he's, he's not a troll. Yeah. He's not yeah. a comedian. He's, he's not. He well, is wasn't funny, he on right? Big Brother? Like, it seems like he... Yeah, he was a while ago. Yeah, I don't... He got kicked off. And I don't like, know if you saw violent. if you he, saw those videos scared. of the teachers from school. No, I didn't see those. So kids are, like, refusing to listen to a female teacher. That's or not... They're refusing... And they say, we learned it from Tate. They're refusing to read an essay that was written by a female author. Yeah, it's crazy. No, that's crazy. Listen, bad. that's crazy and so that's like it's really bad that's not good and there's got to be there's there's blame for that in more places than andrew tate but absolute like there of course yes there is. Of but sure but, but we don't but, have yeah. to look everywhere the around but up, at right? the yeah, problem a lot of people are fucking up, but yeah i don't think this is a guy who um has ideas that are helping the next generation of men the question becomes... In the same way that... Not, not helping is a nice Nazis way to are, phrase absolutely it. Absolutely not. I, I just want to say, like, not helping is a nice way to phrase it. Right. It's harming. Corrupt it. Yeah, corrupt. Let's yeah, go yeah. as far as say corrupt. Okay. For sure. Yeah. I have no doubt about that. My, my only concern is that unaccountable people being able to do something w completely without mm -hmm. any type of transparency f as a standard for, it, for the whole country is, to me itself problematic in that sense like i i do think that you know i agree but at the same time i don't think that i've seen like a ton of egregious well i think part of it is the part of them. part of it is that like you have to be a giant i mean who's well, the what, other what, guy what, what like, if the the person that ran youtube ended up being a right-wing lunatic right mm -hmm. this idea that every that you know that the people that agree with me are always going to be in power or they're always going to do the right things one of the reasons that you try to establish, I think, these standards that remain somewhat concrete, not as vague, is so that no matter who's running an organization, you don't necessarily have a problem. I think this yeah. whole, consp I think there is a victim complex on the right. They're all, they think they're being censored. In truth, I really don't think they're being more censored than no, the I, libs. I think when you look yeah, at it, I, I, people, yes. people look at the... Yes. The leadership yeah. of tech companies. And they usually say they're lib. Well, there's people on the far yeah. left that have been censored, too. I mean, Abby Martin and Chris Hedges are not right wing mm -hmm. at all. So I don't think it is only right wing. I mean, people. dude, yeah. like Stephen Crowder, for example, he's out there like reenacting the George Floyd uh, right. uh, murder for right. chits and giggles. And he's fine. He's still on YouTube. Right. So I feel like they're pushing it. And the thing is, there's communication. Like, yeah. they, these people have a vested interest in playing up the victim. And there may be stuff with Tate that I don't know, things I haven't mm -hmm. heard. I'm sure there is. They, I'm, and I'm, I'm sure, sure there is. And for it, sure. takes, yeah. it takes a lot for a person to get removed. Yeah, no, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not saying that I'm fully aware of it all. I'm just saying my, uh, my initial reaction is always to question I'm a teacher. what's going on. Right. And I, by the way, my, I'm not trying to like my no, my no, intention course. is not to ambush you or something like no, that. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I don't feel like that. I oh, this is listen. I'm I'm always I talk. This is what I do. Okay, good. Yeah. So I think that's interesting because I think the natural impulse for a lot of people is to be like, oh, let's not censor people. But I wonder. Well, because there's some a thing people about delighting in the censorship of your enemies and going, oh, these people disagree with me. Let's get rid of them. Because I think we all know that if certain people had their way, it wouldn't only be hate groups. It would be anyone that disagreed with them. So there are people that hold political positions that are different and they could easily be described as hateful, right? Mm -hmm. we're the, we're, this is the most contentious or one of the most contentious periods in our country's history. So if it was easy enough to just say, we could all identify what a hate group was and exactly how they behaved, but there's people that would advocate banning people that are, you know, 
congressmen and senators and whatever. And then the, the reality right. is it's like. But that's not happening, right? Yeah, of course it is. There are people that advocate to getting all of these people off, right? Advocating or is it happening? Well, it happened with Trump. So that right, was the, right. Yeah, and, 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 and he had it coming. Let's be honest. Well, for sure, but there is a debate. And fucking that guy was running. He there is loose a, for a long. I do not disagree. Time. I do and not I'm disagree. sure people on Twitter yeah. were like, "You have to stop. You can't say this. You yeah. can't say this." I know because I yeah. talk to people on the back end of YouTube. Yeah, for sure. And people, people who get banned have a vested interest in playing the victim complex, fundraising. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they they don't fucking mention all the times. Yeah. That they had like twenty sit down conversations with YouTube where they're like, yeah. "Listen, you can't say this. Right. You can't do this." We're warning you. Yeah, it happens in past. No, they say, "Oh, I've suddenly got banned." And so, right. so it's just they're but not characterizing part, part of it, it honestly. Part, part of the issue is when you when you remove the president of the United States. Yeah, you have elevated yourself. You are now above, like you know, some of the most powerful people in the world as this company, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are deeply uncomfortable with that. But now people might agree with Trump and saying, "I, I, think, I, I think a timeout would have been good." I you think, know what's dope? Yeah, that Trump. Is not a fucking king. No, no, no. And Absolutely. they can s silence him if they want. For sure. So fuck him. He's just a guy. Yeah. And by the way, yeah. let's not pretend like Trump is being, uh, you know, hamstrung. The man is the fucking president. He He's can not speak hamstrung. To everybody. He's not hamstrung all the time. But I'm saying that's what people question. They go, "This is an incredibly powerful group of people that can shut off the president of the United States." So whether you agree with it or not, the idea that it can happen is troubling to people. People worry about that. People just go, you know, I don't necessarily know how comfortable I am with people that have that level of power. Um, and that's something that it's not an easy thing. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's an easy situation. I think there's more complexity than just saying, well, there's people at YouTube. They've had a bunch of meetings when they make a decision. It's something that there's literally nothing to do about it other than nationalizing social media. Well, I think that's a de certainly a debate. I don't know that that's going to necessarily fix something, but well, uh, well of course it will. Because if the government owns it, then the First Amendment applies. I think right. we all use social media for the pros and the cons. Yes. I mean, it comes with benefits and yes. it comes also with this. Trump got elected probably because of Twitter, because of social media. So, sure. yeah. He said yeah. a lot of shit. He got a lot of um, warnings, a yeah. lot, and that's what happens. Yes, that's I'm, it. I, I just am generally uncomfortable with, and that's fine. Total, and that's fine. Yeah, power. But still, there needs to be times when people need to be fucking kicked off. Yeah, I, I'm sure you know that I mean? they're off for sure. There's and absolutely. So who's going to make that decision? That's I, I the don't question. Know. I don't know. And that's the question. But I, I agree that there's times where people go way over the line. Yeah. But it's just about who makes those decisions, how they're made. And I think it's a little more, it's a stickier situation, especially in the hate speech concept where it's like, there's a lot of things well, well, that there, some would qualify as hate yeah. speech to certain people well, there, and there, some wouldn't. There's a lot of like easily defined hate speech bubbles that yes. I think apply, which is like homophobia, transphobia, Well, the, so transphobia is not an easy bubble, right? That's not easy at all. So if somebody says a man can't get pregnant, <coughs> And that's their belief. Mm -hmm. Somebody might go, that's a hateful statement. Somebody might go, that's a statement that's rooted in biology. They can have that debate. You could hate it or disagree with it. But the, uh, some people will consider certain things hate speech yeah. that are opinions. True. Yeah. But I don't think people are getting banned for saying that. I do think there are instances where people have been banned for the trans I or expressing if, I, positions that were anti the mainstream. I trans think stuff. that when you look at each specific case, you'll find that this person what went above and beyond in in their quest to And that's very possible. Yeah. I have not looked at each specific case, but I do yeah, think Yeah, JK that, Rowling is like what people call her turf whatever. She says that shit all the time on right. Twitter. She nothing ever. She never even No, for sure. I, I for absolutely. Yeah. I'm just saying that like that's an example right there of like that is a that is a, I see. It's harder yeah, I see. to carve out what's what's real hate and where people are having a genuine and passionate disagreement. Sure. Yeah. But I, I don't think you should be able to tweet like crazy stuff at people and, a, you know, at groups of people. Like, I do believe that there needs to be like a line. Yes. For sure. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just not as easy always to establish what that line is. Yeah. That's all. 
it's right. I yeah. Think, obviously, right. There's yeah. nuance to it, right? There's just nuance. Yeah. To I just it. see. I, I mean, see. we have to deal with it on the daily when Ethan makes a bad joke, and you yeah, know, I don't think and you then guys we get banned for sure. a week. Right. I mean, That's it's true, just yeah. right. part of our business. I get in too. trouble all the time. Right. Like, for yeah. example, recently I said, and don't say it. I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, you can. You just. I'll tell him what I said. You can cut. Yeah. 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 Did you see that whole fallout? I didn't see it, but I can imagine. It turned imagine into a big it. story. <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. was tweeting about me. Yes. And I got busted. I got kicked off for a week. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes timeouts. You know. Would that be such a bad thing, by the way? No, I, 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 I don't, don't know. They didn't know what I said. They don't know what I said. Don't. It could be argued that they do know what you said, so don't. No, I didn't say it. Right. Right. Oh, I thought you meant the timeout is what that. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what he meant. Yeah. <laughs> I got okay, it. Okay. Got my finger on the button, Ethan. <laughs> Where's my machete? No. <laughs> that, was a, uh, that was a joke, by the way. Okay. Yeah, We're not I, as far away as we think. The way that yeah, I no. see yeah. it, Andrew Tate, because I'm I'm very aware of You might all know more comments. than yeah, because I don't know. Maybe, them. right? Yeah. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. I see him as a hate group where, you know, like Jews, yeah, blacks, uh 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 Muslims, yes. uh trans gays, they're protected groups of people, right? Just so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when it comes to women, you know, it's like you should never no, advocate nobody, violence. Nobody's yeah. speaking up like in the same way. Sure. And I think that as a group of women, this he's advocating for violence against. If them. he's advocating yeah. for violence against women, then that is absolutely he absolutely a problem. is. Yeah. I. I. The things that I'd heard were these trolly kind of misogynistic things, but none of them were like, let's hit yeah. women. It's not yeah. trolly. That's what you learn when you watch enough of his stuff. He is funny right. and entertaining, right? Yeah. That's, that's the problem, you know? Uh, but a lot of, a lot of fucking, uh, a lot of the fascists and psychos and shit, they're very uh, charismatic. For sure. Yeah, you know For what I mean? sure. Also, there's kind of a phenomenon I've noticed amongst like white nationalists and Nazis online. They talk about everything like it's a joke. But they're not joking. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's an irony. Yeah, it's sure. all about irony. Yes. So it's like... Anyway, watch this. I, th I think this is interesting. Okay. Yeah. And I teach sixth grade. Um, we've been in school for three days now. And within these three awesome. days, the amount of young 11-year-old boys that have told me that they love Andrew Tate is ridiculous. This man is really affecting the minds of young men. I had a boy today, 11, turn to a girl and tell her that she's fat. Women need to be thin. She sits at home and she eats all day and that she's like every other girl in the world and that she uses men to get money. And at least he's a hardworking man and he works for his money. An but 11 year old? They're 11, an right? 11 year old did that? Yeah, but, but, yeah, which is like. That's okay. not great. No, exactly. No. And there's actually a lot of examples of this because school just started. Yeah. And there's kids that fucking look up to this guy and it's. No, like, I, don't, I don't know why, as a nuts. parent, you're letting your child, 11 year old, watch Andrew Tate videos. Well, sure. it gets more. That's, yeah. It gets more complicated yeah. than just letting your kid watch because, like, some teachers said that some kids are kids of immigrant parents and they don't understand. English. Right. They okay. don't. Single they see parent. the kid. I like picturing like you know your parents going like, "Hey, we got you a birthday present. Twelve months at Hustlers University." <laughs> no, that no, it's seems not like that. Not yeah. to be great parenting. And it, right, and that it, seems and to be a problem. It's not. Obviously, yeah, there's, there's not some great parenting. obligation uh, for the parents, but ultimately, they can't control everything, right? Yeah. So I don't know. We've it's solved. Conversation yeah, solved. No, it's it's think, interesting yeah. and. You know, I, I didn't think his shelf life was going to be long either way. I didn't either. Whether he was banned or not. I am to surprised me. it happened yeah. so fast, though. Well, I think things usually do. Sure. I noticed you said one thing where you're like, well, yes. he was doing misogyny before. And he like, was, yeah. You can't police, you're right. You can't yeah. police, like, every person. Well, for sure. But I'm, I mean, what I'm he saying floated is, like, up. yeah. He floated up. I also think, like, there is, there should be some acknowledgement of what what he is speaking to, which is perhaps... There's a hole in the market for right. sane, rational, positive yeah. male. In, Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? We've known that for a long time. Yeah, like where they're yeah. not, you know, we don't need, we obviously are not needing to say what he says. But like. Jordan Peterson. There might not. Right, right. That's yeah. it. That's his whole thing. Yeah, but there should be maybe more 
positive male uh, speakers and role models that are not, right. uh, that don't have machetes. <laughs> I totally agree, man. And, yeah. and that's a problem. I wish somebody <laughs> could break through to these guys who wasn't right. like a psychopath. Well, I think some of it is that people do like humor. So people do like people to be funny. Um, I think what he says is very, uh, a lot of it is very shocking. And yeah. it's, it's the opposite of everything they're hearing. Mm -hmm. So it makes it fascinating immediately. Mm -hmm. But it has crazy negative Im implications. Hopefully that there could be somebody that wouldn't be... I think As, we can do yeah. that together. We need to do the... Um, I would hope so. What would be the name of our course from Hustlers University? We could be the... Yeah. Let me tell you right now, it would not be one of the bigger ones. Uh, it would be yeah. like a... <laughs> it would be a, a smaller course. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what the name would be. Um, hustler. Well, not a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Funny and unfit, like fresh and funny fit. and unfit, or or just we'll just call it like <laughs> hot dog drinker university. Hot dog drinker, <laughs> male tits. Big old, big old male tits. Mickel, milkers. Big old tits. Two fat idiots. And then like, everyone will click on it because he'll go, oh, it's a hot bitch. <laughs> and then it's just us telling people that they because here's the thing, a guy like me telling you to get up and go to work doesn't do anything. Right. Because by the way, I mean it's Fix just, your room. Yeah. Clean no your room. Can. You need yeah. like a bold like boxing kickboxer to go put your sock in the drawer. <laughs> but if I say it, it's just like shut up, you fat you fuck. Yeah. You no one cares. Right. But but by the way, it's guys like me that have been saying it forever, right? It's like people that look Clean like me your who fucking have room. Been, yeah. Part of it upsets me that people need this, right? Can I say right. Yeah. Do we really need to clean our rooms? Well, it depends how bad they are. Yeah, exactly. it depends how bad, it really depends how bad they are. I have, <laughs> I, first of all, I have cleaner. I have maids and cleaners, for yeah, example. Yes. Yeah. So I don't but, need, like. I'm yeah. not a guy who, even let's say, yeah. let's hypothetically say I'm I'm neat. Yeah. Let's say I don't like making my bed, and I don't. Get I hate it. it exactly. So so what is this like? Let's just clean right. our room a little bit. That's but what I there advocate for. There should be a space for. for people like us that have other gifts and others, not conform. Exactly. There's, we shouldn't yes, have to conform just, to like. Oh, make your bed or oh, stay at that scene of the accident. We should be able right. to do Wash our own toilet. thing. We have a different thing. Well, you know I, I, think, I loved yeah. seeing Jake Paul speak against Andrew, Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. and what a great I, moment in masculinity. I, and I think that's exactly what you're describing, though. It's like this guy that like all these kids do look up to yes. him. Yes. Those, those same boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't, you don't, listen. You, Wait, what, didn't Jake Paul also tweet that it was like a travesty that he got censored? Did he? I don't yeah, I think, think he so. did. Yeah, it's up. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah he, he, did. he was one of those. Just people. take whatever half you agree with. We'll get <laughs> on with that. I mean, it's the internet. You know, let's yeah. not. No, I saw both. I saw both. Okay, so I, think I only crazy. saw one. Yeah, just be careful. No, it's you just half him. of it's Damn. nice. Half of anyone's nice. That's very true. Damn, I uh, he said the good one. <laughs> he said before you compliment him, I'll just show you this and then you can. Okay. Yeah. He said I don't roll with Andrew Tate. May KO his ass out in the ring one day, but I roll with freedom of speech, baby. Uh, Andrew Tate <laughs> speaks on the bench. Again, freedom of speech means the government doesn't okay. lock you up for saying so. Yes, I think that yeah. so that con concept. <laughs> Nobody's is getting locked up. Yes. And let's be honest, social media is not essential. Right. You learn that when you yeah. take three days off Twitter. It is not essential. I think he is at all. Hustlers University will endure. It'll live forever. That'll be it's fine. an institution. It will be fine. Yeah. It'll be a brick and mortar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll they'll be an endowment. But you know what I mean? It's like social media is just not it's not essential. It's really I, not. I think there certainly is aspects of your life to get a lot better without it. But then there's also things that, you know, a lot of times you need it to just participate in like the conversation. Well here, let's go.